Investigators say Nicolet High School students leaked sexually explicit videos of other students. Christina Van Zell joins us live with how the students involved actually could be charged with child pornography. Ben, two students were arrested after sexually explicit videos were circulating social media. These court documents say that those are students at Nicolet High School, the students involved, but now they are facing or could face some serious jail time. Glendale police are investigating a case of child pornography after a video made the rounds on social media at Nicolet High School. According to a search warrant, students at the school posted a video to Instagram. It shows three 14-year-olds, all freshmen at Nicolet, engaging in sexual activity last weekend. The court document says after a breakup at a sleepover, some of the kids talked about leaking the video and posted it on Instagram. Being kind of mean online or on cell phones, I'd say it's kind of like almost a rite of passage or something a lot of kids experience. Nicolet Superintendent Greg Cabara says the incident happened off school grounds and not on a school issue device. He says the school got involved when a staff member made a mandatory report to a school resource officer about the video. Children's Wisconsin child and family therapist Christine Jacobs says cyberbullying is common. I think it's very normal that kids, when they first get access to technology and cell phones, they try risky things. Jacobs says a teen's brain isn't fully developed to understand the consequences. In this case, the teens involved could face multiple charges, including second degree sexual assault of a child and possession of child pornography. But the black letter of the law is it doesn't matter what age you are. If you possess this material, you're in possession of child pornography, regardless of its source. Criminal defense attorney Chris Shirella says this is a reminder to parents to be strict when monitoring what your kid is doing online. This is all still under investigation, so formal charges have not yet been filed. The superintendent over at Nicolay says they do take these types of things very seriously and, quote, they will continue to reinforce ethical technology best practices and the long-term effect of social and digital technology with students. Reporting live in Gundale, Christina Van Zelst, Fox 6 News.